These exactly were the moments Bill Haney recalled when he broke down during a brief Instagram Live session that ended moments ago. One thing is that my son is the best son in the world to me, and I love him to death. I'll continue to go and bat for him. I'll continue to stay out. After initially displaying strength and courage, Bill Haney finally broke down on a live Instagram session while discussing how he felt about his son's unexpected loss against Ryan Garcia. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Whenever you want to do that, then that's what we're going to do. You know. But we're going to definitely. Good morning. Salam alaikum. It was not the best of sights to see, as the extroverted and bubbling Bill Haney was seen in a sober state. Let's see how it played out. Bill Haney's son, Devin Haney, had the very first loss of his 32-match career when he faced Ryan Garcia in the ring for the very first time as a professional boxer and the seventh time in all. Oh, it's the same thing. Stay focused. And we know that he's a, he was a good fighter. I always said that, that right? I never said he was going to say he's a good fighter, and that's what it is. We want a rematch. Uh -huh. You know, he, he got hit with a shot early. Ryan Garcia shocked the world, however, with a majority win against his opponent, but sadly missed out on the World Boxing Council Super Lightweight Championship by just three pounds, as he appeared overweight during the weigh-in. 143.2, 143.2 official weight for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia told boxing fans and media to ignore his bizarre behavior ahead of his fight with Devin Haney. That proved impossible for many, but Garcia made his point on Saturday night, dropping Haney three times en route to a majority decision victory in a thrilling bout. Garcia's big moment started early with a left hook in the opening minute of the fight buzzing, but not dropping Haney. The champion managed to recover and outbox Garcia for several rounds before another left hook landed for Garcia in the seventh round, this time putting Haney on the canvas for the first time in his career. Garcia caused a bit of harm to his big moment, punching Haney on the break as Haney tried to clinch and recover, leading the referee to deduct a point and resulting in a 9-8 rather than 10-8 round for Garcia. He wobbled badly. I'm surprised he has such a good heart and recovery, Garcia said of his first round shot. I cracked him in that first round. I thought it was over. I thought I won. Easy work. And then he came out firing in the second, even hurt me with a hook. I was like, damn, maybe you do got a little power. From that point, every time Haney recovered and started to box well again, frequently causing Garcia to turn his back and shell up. However, he would get caught by another one of Garcia's patented left hooks. Those hooks led to knockdowns in the 10th and 11th rounds, with Garcia nearly scoring another in the 11th, which likely would have ended the fight. Garcia's frequently as it needs to happen. Oh, and he's got it locked again! And down for a second time! It's Devin Haney! Oh. I mean, my left hook is my left hook, Garcia said of the shot that scored all three of his knockdowns. That's blessed by God. Whenever I land it, it can put you down or out. Those knockdowns allowed Garcia to pull ahead in the late stretches before officially winning by scores of 112, 112, 114, 110, and 115, 109. CBS Sports scored the fight 113, 111 for Garcia. Many had discounted Garcia's chances to win the fight after he spent the previous months engaging in bizarre social media tirades about various conspiracy theories, including discussions about the Illuminati and aliens. Garcia also was seen in clubs as recently as fight week, leading to speculation he wasn't taking the fight seriously, but didn't look like he had experienced any of these when he bounced into the ring and unleashed his arsenal on Devin Haney. Bill Haney and Devin Haney had appeared in interviews and on social media severally after Devin's loss. However, one appearance was more notable than the others, and it was the one where Bill Haney broke down before finally putting off the Instagram live session. Bill Haney appeared live on Instagram shortly after a video of his had gone viral. And he seemed quite all right, affirming that Devin Haney was also in good condition and would only need treatments on his cuts and wounds, shunning claims that he had broken his jaw. 
While the video was ongoing, he spoke like a motivational speaker, dishing out quotes and some wise words about how life is never a bed of roses, but a journey that can get turbulent. And once you fight through the turbulence, you're ready for another blissful rood until another comes. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Whenever you want to do that, then that's what we gonna do. You know. But we gonna definitely. Good morning. As he said all of these, fans kept sending both comforting and hateful comments. Some of the comforting comments he got read, Stay strong, Bill Haney. I love the kind of father you are. Devin will be back. You've always been there. I'm shocked to see you this bold in the face of defeat. Come back soon. I wish you were so big as a boxer. You'd have that crowd pulling power. Keep going at it. However, the negative comments would probably have a far reaching effect than the positive ones. Several of them were sent, but the most prominent ones read, Go and sleep like your son. You trained a coward. Only one person was no longer an amateur in the fight, and it was Ryan Garcia. Another equally devastated fellow quipped, Bill, you talk too much. Take a break and think. You're the biggest problem of your son's career. He's better without you. One particular person made a naughty allusion to the biblical wall of Jericho. Tell your son never to fight like an amateur anymore. He kept falling like the wall of Jericho. I know you can't train him against that, but tell him. Seeming unmoved by all of these claims, Bill Haney kept up with his statements. And when it was time to focus on the comments that were sent in, he got a heartfelt message from a fan who asked him about his saddest moment of the night. And in response, he soberly said, I've never seen my stop get knocked down. It was hard seeing him get beaten that much, honestly. And the crowds were doing their stuff and I was scared he might get knocked out or just lose. I was confused and my mind was unsettled. I felt like going into the ring to help him out. I love my son so much, I just couldn't. And before he completed his statement, he burst into tears during the live session and put it off immediately. Good morning. Salam alaikum. I'm Lila. We outside it when we went. It truly must have been a lot to hold for Bill Haney, as Devin had never been dropped down until that point. And it wasn't easy sitting by the ringside and taking in all that experience. While boxers are often appreciated for their strength and stability, their family members also deserve some accolades. Ryan Garcia also confirmed facing Bill Haney and asking him to come save his son. This was a bitter pill to swallow, as all the states he had at Ryan Garcia over the past four months have been to mock him and promise the beating of his life. But this time, Ryan Garcia was the conqueror, while Bill and Devin Haney were the losers. It was some good decision that Bill Haney and Devin Haney evaded the post-fight conference as the breakdown might probably have happened then, with Garcia throwing shades at both father and son. Ryan Garcia felt he should have knocked out Devin Haney rather than just beaten him by majority decision, but he puts at least part of the blame on referee Harvey Dock. While he certainly didn't complain about getting the nod and handing Haney the first loss of his professional career, Garcia acknowledged that a finish would have been that much sweeter. He set the tone with a huge left hook in the opening round that rattled Haney. But Garcia really took over with a trio of knockdowns that effectively won him the fight. The first knockdown came in the seventh round, but the advantage on the scorecards was almost immediately negated when Doc paused the action and deducted a point from Garcia for punching after he demanded a break. Instead of being penalized, Garcia felt like he should have been allowed to continue until he put Haney down for good. At the end of the day, Harvey Doc, I think he was tripping, Garcia said post-fight. He should have stopped that fight. It was bad. Haney was really hurt. I felt bad. I even looked at Bill. Haney, I said, bro, you should probably stop this. He didn't, and that's it. I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. So, what's next? Who's Amen. next? Amen. So, Amen. God did. Amen. God, God did. did. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, how does this feel? You know, you were counted out. The guy was holding me for dear life. I felt an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him. And then Doc took a point away when I cracked him, but he held me. I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. Even in the moment, Garcia admits he was confused by the referee's actions. That was crazy, Garcia said. I've never seen anything like that. He was holding him, and I punched him, and he was hurt, and I was like, yes, done. Oh, point taken? Despite the penalty, 
Garcia continued to pour on the punishment with two more knockdowns in the 10th and 11th rounds that won him the fight. Thinking back on his performance, Garcia believed he could have done even better, but he had a singular purpose to put Haney away and it actually cost him. Is this going to be the moment I stop him? Garcia said of his first thought after dropping Haney in the seventh round. That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop him because every time I hurt him, I just went crazy. I just couldn't finish him. I was surprised he had such heart and recovery. I cracked him in that first round. I thought it was over. I'm like, I won. Easy work. Then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. I was like, damn, maybe he did get a little bit of power. Garcia walked into the fight as a massive underdog, with some sports books listing Haney as high as an 8 to 1 favorite to win, but that's not how things played out on Saturday. Immediately after the fight, Garcia mentioned he'd gladly accept a rematch, and Haney later said the same after suffering the first defeat of his career. Once the action cooled down, however, Garcia acknowledged that his body went through a lot in his attempt to get down to 140 pounds for the fight. In the end, Garcia actually missed weight by 3.2 pounds, but the bout still moved forward as scheduled. However, when it was over, Garcia had the last laugh as the polarizing young star vanquished Haney via majority decision after dropping him three times on Saturday night at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. You were counted out and this is a monster, a monster victory. I mean, I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me, what's next? Were it not for him being penalized for punching on the break, Garcia would have won unanimously as one judge scored the fight a draw. And before Bill Haney's breakdown on live, Haney and his dad Bill took to social media early on Sunday to address his fans, rumors of a broken jaw and his ability to absorb defeat. And he took a slight jab at Garcia for missing weight. Is that my son is the best son in the world to me. And I love him to death. I'll continue to go and bat for him. I'll continue to stay outside. While Devin took to X to make his statement, Bill chose to use video as he went live to discuss Saturday night's results. Garcia and Devin's plans moving forward. Haney ended concerns about his health while calling for a rematch on X, formerly known as Twitter, a few hours after falling short against Garcia. Haney wrote, Alhamdulillah Allah is the perfect planner. He makes no mistakes. Fought like a true champion, got up off the canvas and kept fighting. I am 100% okay and would love to do it again while we both make weight. I have not broken anything by the way. Like I said, I'm okay. Same way you will be able to take it. I will be back inshallah. However, on his live Instagram session, Bill Haney expectedly even had more words to say. He said he and Devin knew Garcia's pre-fight antics and missing weight was a planned show. Bill started in quite the same way as his son. When he was giving his post-fight in-ring interview, he thanked God, which was an important aspect of their faith as Muslims. We're outside when we're winning and we're outside in defeat. We turn losses into lessons and then turn them into blessings, Bill Haney said. One thing I can say is, I did always say that Ryan Garcia was a good fighter. We were three, three with him. I think he's an even better TikToker or influencer or whatever because he fooled you guys into thinking that he was crazy. I knew that he wasn't crazy. It was a good fight, but you know, we've got to take him taking his stride and we definitely want a rematch. Devin's still WBC champion. He couldn't lose the belt because Ryan didn't make the scale, but we wanted to make it happen. You know what I mean? Whenever you want to do that, then that's what we're going to do. You know? but we're going to definitely good morning salam alaikum alhamdulillah we outside it when we win. and more importantly being the first fighter or being the second best fighter or the third best fighter you can work to get there or you step back to step back up but the one thing is that my son is the best son in the world to me and i love him to death It'll continue to go all out for him. I'll continue to stay outside. You know what I mean? We didn't just start this journey when we started boxing. I'm going to back him fully, you know? I ain't going nowhere. Period. The rematch is in doubt, unless Haney wants to move up to 147 pounds, as during the post-fight press conference, Garcia said he could not and would not attempt to fight at a weight class beneath 143 pounds. 
He called making a weight that low physically impossible. This stance creates a problem for Haney, who is still the WBC super lightweight champion. Because Garcia missed weight, Haney's title wasn't on the line on Saturday night. Haney may have to vacate his title at 140 pounds if he wants to chase a rematch with Garcia at 147 pounds, at least if the plan was to look for another fight with his rival immediately. Haney has expressed a desire to become the undisputed champion at 140 pounds, as he was at 135 pounds. If that is still the goal, he may need to table his pursuit of a rematch with Garcia until he can unify the belts at 140 pounds. The other champions at 140 pounds were undoubtedly watching Haney's loss against Garcia. Teofimo Lopez, the World Boxing Organization champion, Subriel Matias, the international boxing champion, and Isaac Cruz, the World Boxing Association champion, would be the fighters Haney has to chase if he wants to accomplish his undisputed goal. In the immediate future, it appears Haney will head back to the West Coast so that he can recover physically and mentally from the loss to Garcia. At 25 years old, Haney still has plenty of time to rebound, but his stock as a fighter took a hit in the loss. However, capturing another world title perhaps before the end of the year would go a long way toward pushing him back into the conversation of the sport's top fighters. Right now, what's still very vital in the world of boxing is what will have to go down as one of the most effective troll jobs in modern sports history, let alone boxing. The 25-year-old Garcia had Haney and the entire boxing world convinced that he had lost his mind in multiple ways, which went a long way in Haney becoming as high as an 8, one underdog. For months, Garcia acted rabid and reckless in just about every manner, forcing columnists to openly question whether he was even fit to compete or whether the promoters of record were prioritizing profit over humanity. It turned out we were all wrong, incredibly wrong. That doesn't mean we owe Garcia an apology, even though it worked. There were major parts of Garcia's shtick throughout fight week alone that threatened to soil his reputation for years to come. But the ultimate intention did play out as Garcia had hoped. Haney admitted after the fight to overlooking the threat of Garcia's vaunted left hook as he more or less expected a Garcia meltdown was inevitable once his early offense inevitably was disciplined by the more technical fighter. What we didn't expect was the level of poise Garcia operated with. The biggest bait and switch of all that Garcia pulled off, however, was just how much he seemed to benefit from the instruction of new trainer Derek James, who barely spoke in the lead up to the fight as Garcia took all of the focus off of his preparations while routinely presenting himself as in the midst of a mental breakdown. Again, it was crass enough that any boxing purist can only hope a breakout of copycat behavior won't follow it, but it did work. The upset win also marks an incredible turn of events for Golden Boy Promotions years after losing boxing's top star Canelo Alvarez following a bitter divorce. There were some who were all too happy to finish off the obituary of De La Hoya's promotional company while predicting he was leading Garcia into a fight he had no real shot of winning. And to be fair, a stoppage loss would have been disastrous for Garcia in ways that could have only compounded such financial fears for Golden Boy's future. Instead, Garcia completed the ultimate gamble of scrapping hopes to challenge Rolando Romero for the title he previously held only to double down by facing Haney amid a chorus of critics wondering if De La Hoya was actively cashing Garcia out. Not only is Garcia's future extremely bright, but De La Hoya brings his co-promoter status behind unbeaten Jamie Munguia into a May 4th PPV showdown against Alvarez in Las Vegas, which is expected to be one of the sport's biggest fights in 2024. De La Hoya is a lot of things to many different people in the boxing world, and not all of them are good. But the golden boy is, first and foremost, a survivor of the sport as he continues to find ways to breathe positive life back into his eponymous brand. And while De La Hoya makes his upward move, Garcia's frightening hand speed and his check left hook will get the majority of the headlines when it comes to how he was able to upset a fighter of Haney's craft and experience. And undoubtedly, he owes all the praises of his improvement to God, like he would often say, and to Derek James. And that's all for now.
What do you think the future holds for Bill Haney and his son? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button below. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.